everyone, it's Ryan with GameDevHQ.com. Today, we're talking about three misunderstood concepts in the C-sharp language. We've noticed a few trends with starting developers and wanted to simply clear up some of the confusion and hopefully help you guys out. Some of these are pretty basic, but for anything you don't understand, we've left some of the links in the description to dig deeper. And of course, feel free to ask questions in the comments or in our forums at GameDevHQ.com. The first one on our list is a very common misunderstanding, and that's determining the difference between functions and methods. When it comes to specifically c -sharp, all functions are in fact methods. There's not a difference. So again, all functions are methods in c -sharp. In other languages, however, this is not the case. In other languages, a method is a function that might be an attribute or property of a class. While functions simply return information, this isn't applicable to c -sharp, however, so you don't have to worry about those differences as they don't exist. If and else statements, it's super common when starting out solely to rely on them for checking conditions or checking if something happens. There's of course something better though that helps with larger requests, and that's the switch statement. Knowing when to use one over the other, however, can come down to one simple understanding. Anytime that you're checking on a condition more than twice, you should consider the use of a switch statement. A switch statement lets you apply cases that a variable will go through and check. This video isn't going to go over the code, but we've left content in the description to help you with that. Another common misunderstanding is the use of singletons. Singletons should be used on things that only require a single instance. By this, we mean only once will the object appear or ever be used, never to be recreated, and again, only exists once. An example of when to use a singleton would be in a type manager class, such as a script that manages other components of your project, like a game manager or UI manager script. Something to note, however, is that the singletons will not actually communicate back when spoken to. Manager classes using singletons should only expect a one-way conversation, such as a player asking the game manager singleton for stats, but the game manager shouldn't ask the player for something. Additionally, singletons can answer the following questions you may be trying to resolve in code. How can it be ensured that a class only has one instance? How can the sole instance of a class be accessed easily? How can a class control its instantiation? Or how can the number of instances of a class be restricted? If you want to know how to make a singleton, you can find the video, of course, in the description. While C-sharp continues to grow in popularity, it's important to take hold of the core concepts of the language and really drill them into your brain. When it's hard to remember things, always try and have notes nearby to help you out. We know the struggles out there of a self-taught developer, and so we hope these three key points try to help you out in some way. If you need a deeper understanding of each component, we actually cover them in great detail in our newly released Unity C Sharp Survival Guide. We cover every component of C Sharp and provide challenges to help master what the fundamentals mean. And you can use the lessons as a reference for when you get stuck or if you need to brush up. There is no other course out there that simply focuses on the coding concepts in this type of format, and we hope you give it a quick look. We've left a link to the survival guide in the description to give you a better idea of how it works. This concludes our top three misunderstandings of C Sharp. Now for a question for you is, what do you feel that as a developer you don't grasp yet? Leave your answers in the comments and we'd love to help you out. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tutorials and other game development content. And of course, you can join us directly in our community at GameDevHQ.com for awesome events and things to help you critique, uh, help critique your development path. Later, dudes.